Battlefield 4 Infrared Sniper. In this video today, I thought I'd chuck in some footage of the M40A5 with the 2x infrared scope. Simply because the other day I was bored and I didn't want to use a proper loadout, I didn't really feel like going serious on the enemies. So I thought I'd use maybe just a little bit of a casual loadout and I ended up getting some good clips with it. So I thought I'd chuck those in the video today. Starting off, this loadout was actually really difficult for me to use because I'm used to the 8x rifle scope that I would normally use on a weapon like the M40. Of course the ADS speed is a little bit lower than what you expect because of course you've got more field of view basically. You can see more through the scope because obviously it's less magnification. So for me to actually get used to this it was quite difficult. Uh, the use of a laser sight did actually help in getting some hit fire kills when I was too close to the enemy to really be aiming. But overall I actually really enjoyed using this loadout for the M40. Because the M40 doesn't have the best bullet velocity or range, this thing is ideal to be using in close quarters battles because you're never really going to go further than around 100 metres away. And with the scope, the scope can't actually pick up enemies that are much further than that. So those two tied together worked really well and it was a really rewarding experience, especially getting those kills that were a lot further away. And you will actually see later in the clip that I do get some hit markers on enemies that I can't actually see through the scope because it's not picking up their heat signals. It's a really cool experience. And if you're, you're looking for a challenge, this is a really good loadout to try. But really, the main point of this video today for you guys is to understand what I'm going to be doing with my YouTube channel in the next few weeks, what you can sort of expect to come from me, and really just so I can get your thoughts and opinions on what you think. So first of all, we know that the Titanfall beta isn't very far away. We don't have a concrete date yet, uh, but we do know that it's going to be coming out fairly soon. There's been a lot of rumours that it was going to start on February the 14th, and I still think that's probably a really good date to go for. However, as I said, that hasn't been confirmed yet. But for those of you that follow me on Twitter, you will know that I attended an exclusive Titanfall event in London on Thursday a few days ago now where I could actually get to go and play the game, meet the developers at Respawn, meet the guys at EA, a lot of guys at NVIDIA as well, actually play the game and get to record it and keep the footage and bring home so I can make you guys some videos. Unfortunately, I can't tell you when I'm going to release those videos as it's covered under an NDA and any of the information that I learned at the event is also covered under NDA as well. But as soon as that lifts, I will release the videos that I have for you. Uh, so just really expect videos. That's all I can really say on that subject. One thing I will just mention is something that I learned from a news website the other day. I think it was MP First. I'll link the article down in the description. The Xbox 360 version of Titanfall has been delayed by two weeks. It's actually being developed by Bluepoint Games in partnership with Respawn. The idea being that it's easier for an outsourced company to port the game across so that Respawn can focus on making the actual game. So the good thing here is that we know that the Xbox 360 version isn't quite ported over yet and we're not going to get some half assed finished game when it comes out. They're delaying it for another two weeks to make sure they can fine tune all the things that they need to do to make sure that when it comes out on that older platform that it is going to be just as good as the PC version and the Xbox One version. And I have a lot of respect for that because as we know in the gaming industry at the moment things are being pushed out when they aren't ready and it's good to know that there are some guys out there that are still respecting the consumer and making sure that when the game does come out that it at least fully works when it goes into the disk drive and when you actually want to play it. I mentioned earlier in the video about some Nvidia guys that were at the Titanfall event. I can actually talk about this because I just realised. Uh, I spoke to a gentleman called Chris and he was in charge of all the PCs that we were playing on while we were there, which were Beast PCs by the way. And he is a marketing representative for Nvidia, so he goes to a lot of events and he's there because he's got a lot of information about the things that are going on, about the stuff that we're using, and obviously he's there to make sure the hardware that's inside the computers that we were using actually worked and performed as intended. I spoke to Chris quite a lot at the event about the game we were playing Titanfall, but we did get onto a couple of other things, and the first one was Shadowplay, which is the recording function for Nvidia graphics cards. And he mentioned to me that in a couple of months' time they're going to be releasing a new version of Shadowplay with a couple of new features. Now those are going to be uh, sort of a custom resolution sort of recording mode, so you can set the resolution that you want Shadowplay to record at, which is really cool, which means you can reduce the file size if you want to, or reduce the quality if you'd like to. 
Screen in screen recording is something they're also focusing on and trying to get into the next version, which is basically where it can take another feed of video and whack it straight into the other video for you. The idea being that if you're a Let's Play guy, then you can take the camera feed straight into the top corner of the video and you don't even have to worry about it, Nvidia will do all that for you. Two more things, desktop recording mode which does exactly what it says on the tin, it will record your desktop rather than locking onto a game all the time, and multiple audio tracks which means basically you can split out your microphone audio, your friends audio, your game audio, all into different tracks so when it comes to editing it, if you don't want your friends audio and your own audio in there you can take that out and just have the gameplay audio, it's really good to have that especially if there's something funny going on or something really epic goes on in the game that you're playing and you're recording, you can make sure that if you want to, you can take out all your screaming voices because you just done a 360 no scope off of the Siege of Shanghai Tower. You can take out all that screaming and just have the gameplay. And I think that's a really good feature to have and something that I'm really looking forward to using with the next version of Shadowplay. And finally, just going back to Battlefield 4 very quickly, it's now been pretty much confirmed that the second Assault DLC will be coming out on the 18th of February for PC, PS3, PS4 and Xbox 360 users. It's been a long time coming because it came out on Xbox One in December, so it's been a full three months since we've actually seen this come out on our own platforms, but it's something I'm really looking forward to, to go back and play those Battlefield 3 maps on the Frostbite 3 engine, check out all of the things, because as I said, I've played it on Xbox One, but I'm really looking forward to playing it on PC and going back to Metro. Oh, just another thing, very quickly, I've been invited to go to another EA event to go and play Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare. It's something that I've been really looking forward to ever since we saw it at E3. I know it's not really something that I would normally include on my channel, but it's most likely I'm just going to post a video of my thoughts and opinions on the game, because it will be coming out on PC too. I just think it looks like a really fun game, so if you guys are sort of wanting me to post that, just make sure I leave a comment just so I know what sort of reception I'll get when I upload that video. But anyway, that's the end of the video today guys, so thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, please do hit me up with a like, and as I've said, comments are always appreciated. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.